Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this video, I'll show you how to multi-track your samples from Battery 3 into Pro Tools to mimic a real drum recording. Let's check it out. Okay, so I have Battery 3 loaded up here and I have this Soul Kit and I think it's very realistic sounding. I think it's really good. And what I've basically done is um, utilize the routing possibilities to kind of recreate as if it was a real drum recording. You know, if you actually physically had the mics plugged in on all different channels and all that stuff, you know, just so you, you guys can see how this looks. And also what it'll do is it'll help you when you do get in the studio, you know, and you're recording a real drum kit, you'll know how it looks and you'll know the sounds and, uh, you know, how you can lay down your processing on all these, you know, separate tracks that you got now that they're all spread out. So basically what I did is, you know, took advantage of the routing possibilities, like I said. So I took all the direct sounds, as you can see, direct kick, direct snare, and um, low tom direct, mid tom direct, the ride bell direct, the low crash direct, and the mid crash direct. And I put them on their own mono audio tra uh, tracks. So as you can see, I have kick, snare, mid tom, low tom, ride bell, mid crash, low crash. And then I also made another mono track for the room. And I made a stereo track for the overheads. So, and the routing goes the kick. I got mono five, the snare, mono six, the mid tom, mono seven, low tom, mono eight, ride the ride bell you know the top of the ride the little bell shaped part i have that as mono 9 i have the mid crash mono 10 low crash mono 11 and the room is mono 12 and i have the overheads on the stereo 3 and 4. so i've recreated all of that inside battery with the routing possibilities as you can see kick overhead is channel 3 and 4 and then i did the snare here as channel three and four then i did the ride bell also to channel three and four you know you get the idea it's kind of repetitive and takes a little bit of time but can you can really benefit from this okay so now that i have everything laid out there with all my routing i'm going to record these as audio so arm all those tracks for record and i'm going to record them You don't want to stop recording too early and cut off that, uh, you know, the crash. All right. So now that I did that, you can see now I'll just play the overheads. Now I'll just play the room. Sounds very realistic. Is the kick, the direct kick, direct snare. Is the ride, it's the low crash. You know, you get the idea, and that like now you can see how. You know a real drum set is you know laid out on tracks and things like that and now you can do all of your processing on all those separate parts it's really cool you know you could play around with the panning and all that stuff you know you can do this within battery itself but i feel like when you do it on these audio tracks uh you have a lot more possibilities you know you could have different kinds of reverbs going to different pieces of the drum set different eqs compression all that stuff you know, it's, it's really cool and 
I really like practicing with this when I'm not able to get in a studio and record an actual drum set. This is really cool because it sounds great and it's very realistic and you could get some really solid mixes down with this. You can always get in touch with Justin at Winksound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at Winksound.com.